The tragic ferry accident was also the focus of the last day of a special session at the National Assembly today. Lawmakers passed a resolution calling for the ferry's recovery, but a brewing bribery scandal was also in the spotlight. Our Park Ji-won tells us more. Thursday's government questioning session began with a moment of silence for the victims of last year's Hewalho Fair disaster. On the first anniversary of the tragic accident, lawmakers grilled government officials over progress made on plans to strengthen safety measures. According to a recent media poll, 70 percent of respondents said the government's safety response and management abilities have improved since the ferry disaster. What do you think about this? The safety ministry is preparing diverse measures, including a nationwide safety inspection. I'm sorry to say that it takes more time and budget for a safety culture to be completely immersed in everyday lives. Parliament also spent considerable time on the recent bribery scandal involving high-profile politicians, including Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew. Main opposition party lawmakers urged the Prime Minister to voluntarily resign. It seems like people have already lost confidence in your qualifications as prime minister. Are you willing to step down from the post? I think it is very inappropriate that a country's prime minister should be pressured to step down on the basis of one person's memo or testimony, even before the truth of the case is revealed. Meanwhile, the National Assembly adopted a resolution on Thursday morning calling for the prompt recovery of the sunken ferry. Parliament called for the development of a plan to raise the ship as quickly as possible in an effort to prevent further destruction of evidence and show the government's willingness to carry out a thorough investigation. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.